What's good, y'all? So this lady got fired from her job, man. HR called her and say she's been late and all this other stuff. But let's hear her explanation, though. Okay, can you, um, I'm sorry, I didn't, what, can you say that again? Oh, um, yeah, hi, Todd. Recording it is crazy. And look at her angry, like, what this thing called in the middle of her forehead? Oh. That shit, that shit wild right there. Tiana, this is, um, Shelly from HR. From <laughs> HR, okay. Me? No, I don't remember you, but what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? Six o'clock. Asking what time she gotta be clocked in is wild because she know what time she gotta be clocked in, so obviously she been late or something. Clock. Yeah, six a.m. Okay. So unfortunately, on seven eighteen, you clocked in at six twelve. Late. Wow. We had a discussion about that. Twelve. Remember? Twelve minutes. Yeah, twelve minutes. Yeah, but. You know, the, they're waiting on you to be there, it clocked in and ready to work at six. Okay, okay. So, so your employment is really going to be terminated as of today because also on 728, you clocked in at 621. 21 minutes. First she say 12 minutes, like no big deal. Then she say 21 minutes, like, hey, no big deal. <laughs> yes, that's 21 minutes of company time. But I still, I still work though. Like I still like. Why didn't y'all tell me that today when I was just at work? Because I handle all the HR, so they wanted me to call you because we had that discussion. Remember about? And that was the day office. that I let my. I, all right, keep going. So you were also work. on eight eight. You clocked in at like six thirty two. That was it. Okay, so I let my cousin use my car the night before and. He didn't bring it. He overslept or something. He didn't bring it back till the morning. So like, yeah, like that's not your job's issue that you let somebody hold your car, knowing you had to be to work the next morning. You feel me? Like that's totally on you. <laughs> yeah, that's totally on you, Shawty. You cannot blame your job, and you can't use that as an excuse. Unfortunately, is your cousin gonna pay your bills? I don't think so. Like I still made that it though. Was literally like nine days after we talked so and then on eight twelve, you just did a no call no show that was my birthday august 12th that's my birthday like hey my birthday august 11th but you can't do a no call no show you feel me you ain't plugged in like that shawty you gotta at least request a day off knowing it's your birthday like come on now i already you told you that day off work though but John, that's my birthday though. i'm not no, I'll, no, that's fine. All right. Everyone okay. Everyone works on their birthday. Even I worked on my birthday. Yeah, most people do work on their birthday because, like, once you're grown, like, you ain't, yeah. most people ain't really doing shit. But if you gonna take it off, request it off. You feel me? Mm, Y'all too grown for me. Too grown for her. Well, unfortunately, okay. I just need you to turn your keys in. And your I'll be there tomorrow because that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Like, what? Like, what? What? No. So she's shocked, man. What y'all think about this? Is she being dramatic. like, she being dramatic? Yeah. She overdoing it. Like, you first, you, how you gonna blame it on your cousin? Cause you let him hold your car. Like, he ain't have to be to work. Obviously, you did. So you can't just pop up at 6 30, like, oh yeah, I let my cousin hold my car. He was tired. He didn't wake up in time. Like, you're not 16 years old, Shawty. You're obviously a grown woman with bills, so. Yeah, Get your priorities straight, Shawty. That's all I can tell you, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, though. Was she wrong? Was her job wrong? Was she just, you know. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this.